Here she comes. Uh, the the next Hello. big thing in women's MMA <laughs> certainly uh, has a big year in front of her. It is the very wonderful. Hi there, how you doing, Welcome. Valerie? Nice Valerie Loretta. Valerie Loretta, how are you? Just twenty years old. I feel like you're ready to take over this entire sport. I'm twenty-two. Oh, you're twenty-two. Wow, wow. these I'm these these. The but, microphone up to your face. Sorry, sorry. But when I did debut with Bellator, I was twenty years old. <laughs> All right, these researchers got us wrong here, Luke. But notwithstanding. 3-0 and in Bellator, making some big moves. I'm going to jump in here first, Luke. Please. I'm going to take over the Go show ahead. here. Valerie Reda, here's my favorite thing about you. You're free. When I see you on social media, when I see you when the camera's on, you're not caring about the haters. You're not caring about what people are saying about you. That's not something, the kind of wisdom that typically comes this young. How did mm -hmm. that sort of develop in you? Honestly, I've never cared what anybody has thought about me. Since I was little, I've had a way of being, and I've been confident in myself as a fighter. And as a woman, and that's how I portray myself to the world. How about the last two years, right, with Bellator? Has it been what you – certainly been rewarding. You've been on the winning, uh, winning streak. Um, has it been what you thought it would be? Like, as your career has developed in your mind versus in reality, how much are they the same? You know, I'm so blessed to, for Bellator to have given me the opportunity to debut professionally with them, you know. But I was always very confident in my skills, and I just said, whatever promotion just gives me – just one opportunity, I promise you, I'm going to make it worth it. So when Bellator signed me, I knew what I was capable of, and I knew what I was going to bring to the table, and everything that I've manifested in my head has come true. You know, every fight one by one, and I'm just really looking forward to growing as a fighter and continuing making those dreams happen that I have in my head and just winning and winning and winning and just growing with the promotion. Uh, there seems to obviously be an it factor that you bring to the table. I mentioned it. You light up in front of the camera. You're confident. You know how to market yourself. Is it hard, though, when you've only got three fights in? You've showed a lot of promise. You talk about, I need to establish myself as a you know legitimate world-class fighter, but you're probably going to be getting offers to do other things. How do you start navigating that so early? I mean, it's hard because I feel like people don't realize that I'm 22 and I have less experience than most women fighters that I'm fighting in the cage. So I got I get a lot of comments because of that. But I know that I'm doing everything patiently at the right time. You know, Bellator is building me up the right way. And I'm choosing good fights. And I'm fighting, like, fights that I know that I could handle. And, you know, I'm growing as a fighter myself. But, um, but yeah. I'm... Did the pandemic slow you down at all? The pandemic? It's been yeah. weird for everybody, right? Yes. I was training conditionally. And I didn't, I didn't fight for, like, a year and a half. So I did have ring rust in this last fight. But I just stayed losing weight, and I stayed ready, you know. And as soon as the gyms opened, I started training right away, and I took that fight in three weeks' notice, and I'm really happy with that performance. Speaking of which, when are you, you going to be back? As The first card Bellator has, I want to be back. Have you guys discussed an opponent, or, like, you know, is there how far along on that path are you? Um, my manager is the one who takes care of that. Honestly, I don't know. But I'm training with the best in the world in American top team. So I'm prepared for whoever they put in front of me, and I want to do another spectacular performance to bring up the year and with showtime and everything, and I know I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it happen. Uh, iron sharpens iron. So mm -hmm. to the point you say about ATT, you're one with one of the strongest teams in all of MMA. We see on Instagram, it's Ioana Young Jacek next to you. Breaking Don't worry. The Don't she's worry. A, she's a powerful, so powerful <laughs> fighter. Um, you know, Paige Van Zandt is there, Amanda Hebas, Amanda mm -hmm. Nunes. Mm -hmm. What is that like? Uh, what type of advantage does that give you when, when there's so much uh, greatness around you? You know, being with such experience, fighters you know they teach me so much and they really have helped develop my career and I ask so many questions how do you deal with this how do you deal with the pressure how do you deal with the comments and they really helped guide me you know but my biggest inspiration is Joanna and I've had the honor of training with her and she always tells me Val you're gonna be champ don't listen to any what anybody says and stay focused so she's really my mentor in the sport Joanna is and I'm very blessed she's to one have of my that. mentors too Joanna yes, okay? I she's know a that. savage I, inside I know that, that cage. you absolutely filthy animal in terms of your Instagram you're you're I remember when you first started mm -hmm. getting signed by Bellator is something like 7,000 followers you're almost at 800,000 yes. uh, are they are people from how are the DMs? Weird? Whoa, friendly? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a family show here. Yeah, like, I understand. I'm not DMs? asking to look at them. I'm just curious as to how people My treat DMs? you. My DMs? Are they weird? Full of weird dudes? Some are weird, yes. Yeah. But I also have a lot of women that are empowered by what I'm doing, and that's what motivates me to keep doing this, you know, because it's not easy being a very feminine girl in this sport. There's a lot that comes with it. My knees are hurting. Everything hurts. Like, I'm not a normal girl, but I portray that life, and I'm just trying to show a woman that you could be feminine, beautiful, elegant, and you could still be a monster in the cage, and that's my mission on this world. All right, so we'll probably see you. We don't, nothing definitive, but we'll see you sometime probably before 
No, I'm fighting in April. Okay, you're fighting in April. Oh, wow. We she's don't know April. when. She's going to find a way on the cards when. in this fight sphere <laughs> right here. I will call everybody have to call, but I'm fighting in April. My last fight was in August. I'm in a good routine. Right. And I just have a lot of things planned in my head, and I know how my next knockout's going to go, and I'm going to make it happen something spectacular. There we go. Well, we can't <laughs> wait to see it. Congratulations on all Thank your you success. So much. Thanks Thank for spending so some time with us, me. and uh, can't you. wait to see your next fight. Thank you. There she Bye, is. Guys. Valerie Loretta, everybody. <laughs> All right, BC. Hey, 2022, either way, Luke, when I was at age, um, I was really not doing anything positive, you know?